Boom and bang. We are back with another video. Now we're going to go over a couple of things. Okay. The first thing we're going to go over is the spy because the spy has done something the last time this certain news has came out. So we need to be mindful of that. We're also going to go over the calendar. What news am I talking about that will be happening tomorrow about two hours before the market closes? This is very important. We also have earnings. Okay. We have earnings that were after market. We have earnings that are pre-market. Okay, we're going to go over the earnings. Then I'll show you guys the previous statement that we had and the date. And that is why you will see this mark here and what's happened and what I think can happen with this one. Now, it doesn't have to do the same pattern, but that's just what I see so far. Right. So we just want to look at what data we have and go by that. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. If you are new, thank you for being here. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, before we get into the spy, I just want to show you guys that we had two levels on here on the spy. Right. I had a resistance level at 400. Let me just move it over. Then I had a buying level at about 390. Where do you see resistance came in? Almost perfect. Okay. At the level that I gave you guys. We'll go to a 30 minute. Let me look at that. Beautiful hit of resistance area. Okay. And start trading down. It started trading down after that beautiful hit. Okay. So with that being said, I did scalp a uh, spy puts today for a small gain, about 20% gain. Very quick play too, but I did scalp it today. But clear resistance. So that was our first sign. Now it's falling down. And then at this buying level, I gave you guys about 390. You could charge see buying pressure starting to come after that. And it is up after hours. So there is some buying going on there. Okay. Will the spy come lower? We don't know. But I will give you guys a couple new levels to kind of look out for because this resistance level is going to change and that buying level is going to change. But let's go ahead and get into what can really be moving the markets tomorrow. First. We have FOMC statement, federal funds rate, and FOMC press conference. Now, make sure you guys go watch the video before this one on IMPP, Phase Stock, Excella, TNXAP. Make sure you go watch that video, okay? All levels are still relevant. Make sure you go watch it. I might update you guys on Excella because I know you had that um, 1 to 20 split, so I might update you guys on that. But go subscribe. Let's get the channel over 100K. Now, so we got the FOMC statement, federal funds rate, FOMC press conference, okay? This is all three here, about two hours before the market closes let me do that so about two hours before the market closes we're going to get all this news so what you can see in the spy this is what you might see in the spy okay let's see i'm gonna draw it out uh where's it at i feel like we might see this in the spy so they say this is the open right this is the open we might see some of this 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 until the news comes out and then we're going to get this are we going to get that? Okay. This is what I feel we might be seeing in the spy. Very sideways type of motion, kind of waiting on the news. Now we also might get movement. And now this might not happen at all. And we might actually get movement in the morning, depending on what some of the earnings do that we'll go over also. Okay. So that's just a couple things that I, I want you guys to be prepared for. Just, just so you're not caught off guard, right? Remember these marking conditions, they're, they're the worst marking conditions ever really in the market. Right. Because we've never been at this type of rates. It's like the worst 20 years, all this stuff going on, recession fears, inflation, just so much stuff going on. OK, so that's the first thing of that diagram. Make sure you rewind it if you need to see it again. But like I said, FOMC statement, federal funds rate, FOMC press conference about two hours before the market uh, closes. Next, earnings. OK, actually, before we go to earnings, let me show you the previous. So the previous FOMC statement was around June 14th to 15th. Right. We have the 16th and 17th, but June 14th to the 15th was the last one. So if you can tell on the SPY, that's why I have those levels marked out right here. What happened on the last FOMC statement? First, it was dropping before the statement came out. It had a little update and it even dropped more. OK, so dropping. So this drop isn't as significant as this drop, but it is still doing the same thing. Dropping, dropping. We might see a little pop up and then we might even drop more. OK, but this was the last FOMC statement right here in this category in this area. So be mindful of that. It did drop, 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 come back up kind of sideways and then drop more. So try not to get trapped anything like that. You want to be looking at what happened last time. So that was what I want to show you on there. And then we also have earnings. So Wednesday, today, actually, after market, we have Microsoft. They didn't beat. We had Google didn't beat. Google didn't beat. Only ones that really bought, I mean, that beat was Visa. But Chipotle didn't beat. Usually Chipotle always beats. In phase beats. Texas Instrument beats. OK, so main ones, the big ones did not beat. They had growth, but the EPS of revenue came lower than what was expected. OK, you're probably seeing some of those pull down after orders. I won't go over all of them unless you guys want any of these. Let me know in the comment section down below. But that was the earnings. But tomorrow before market, 
we got Shopify, you know, as I like this one whole, uh, long term. We got Boeing, we got Spotify, uh, Waste Management, T Mobile. I think there was one more. Yeah, Hilton. That's going to be a big one. We want to see our people still uh, spending hotels. We got Sharon Williams, like the paint stuff, craft, ketchup, all the condiments. So we got some big ones tomorrow pre market. This could also be moving the market, and some of the sympathy plays could also be moving with them. Okay. So Boeing comes out, make sure you check the other airlines and stuff like that. Okay. So make sure you watch their sympathy plays also. But I think those are going to be moving the markets with the news that we have. So on the SPY, I gave you guys two levels. I'll give you guys some new ones now. Okay, so probably like mm, 37. Let me see. Oh, I can just drag it, all right? Let me just drag it. And then, so these are my new levels I'm kind of looking out for now since the other ones have really already been um exhausted so 387 i'm looking for a new type of volume pressure and about 390 397 i'm looking at as a resistance area so this is the new levels i'm kind of looking out for on the spy i want to give you guys this video first before i give you guys all the stocks other stocks penny stocks shortage of stocks so you guys can know what really might be moving the market tomorrow and then after this video, I'll be posting like uh, just pure stock. So probably got about four videos after this one. OK, so make sure you watch the levels on SPY. Make sure you watch the news that's going to be coming out. The earnings that's going to be coming out. Make sure you go subscribe and watch the video that I have before this one on IMPP, Phase, Excella, TNXP stock. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you join the Discord also. First link in that description. I'm no longer with All Pro Trades Club. I'm only world knowledge now. I'm going to do it how I want. So make sure you guys link in the description. First link. Always remember. No second day to the buyer. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.